Marley was dead to begin with. There is no doubt whatever about that. The register of his burial was signed by the clergyman, the clerk, the undertaker, and the chief mourner. Scrooge signed it. And Scrooge's name was good upon change for anything he chose to put his hand to. Old Marley was as dead as a doornail. Merry Christmas, Uncle. What a splendid time it is to be alive. Humbug. Christmas ain't no humbug, Uncle. In fact, I'd say it's the very opposite. You can't mean that, I'm sure. Bet on it then, you'll lose your last cent. What's Christmas time to you but a time for paying bills without money? A time for finding yourself a year older and not an hour richer. If I had my will, every idiot who goes about with Merry Christmas on his lips should be boiled with his own pudding and buried with a stake of holly through his heart. He should. Christmas time may not bring me profit, but it brings me joy, uncle. I believe that it has done me good and will do me good. And I say, God bless it. Yeah, woo, Christmas. I agree with your opinion yet to be named nephew of Scrooge. You make another sound and you won't be eating no turkey tomorrow. How about you join us for a feast tomorrow, Uncle? Humbug. Well, Merry Christmas, Uncle, and Happy New Year. Today, have I had the pleasure of addressing Mr. Scrooge or Mr. Marley? Mr. Marley died seven years ago this very night. Oh, terribly sorry to hear that, Mr. Scrooge. At this festive season of the year, Mr. Scrooge, it is more than usually desirable that we should do what we can for the poor and destitute who suffer greatly, sir. Are there no prisons? No workhouses? Of course, but there are no places for people to live. No comfort. No warmth. That's why a few of us are endeavouring to raise a fund to buy the poor some meat and drink and means of warmth. What shall I put you down for, eh? Nothing. You wish to be anonymous? I wish to be left alone! You'll want all day tomorrow, I suppose. If quite convenient, sir. It is not convenient and it's not fair! I pay a day's wages for no work! It's only once a year, sir. A poor excuse for picking a man's pocket every 25th of December. But I suppose you must have the whole day, but be here all the earlier next morning. Yes, sir. As Bob Cratchit ran home as fast as he could, Scrooge marched slowly through the bleak, snowy street back to his. He lived in chambers which had once belonged to his deceased partner. The building was old enough now and dreary enough, for nobody lived in it but Scrooge, the other rooms all being let out as offices. Pooh, bah, bah, humbug! Scrooge! Jacob Marley? Humbug?
Scrooge. W what is this? Ebenezer Scrooge. Oh, bugger off, whatever you are. Nah, it's quite nice in here, to be honest. What in the, the world? A, a ghost? Who the hell are you? In laugh, I was your partner, Jacob Marley. Well, as I, I live and breathe, you died seven years ago this very night. Yeah, that's why I'm a ghost, you idiot. You don't believe in me, you foolish man. Why do you doubt your senses? Because a little thing affects them. You may be an undigested bit of beef, a blot of mustard, a crumb of cheese. There's more of gravy than of grave about you. Whatever you are, bollocks are you, my dead partner. Ah, I am stuck with these chains for all eternity, Ebenezer. These damn chains forged by my decisions in life. I made it link by link and yard by yard. Hear me, my time is nearly gone. Oh, show mercy, spirit. Leave me. You will be haunted by three spirits. Without their visits, you cannot hope to shun the path I tread. Expect the first when the bell tolls one. Look to see me no more. And look that, for your own sake, you remember what has passed between us. No, Jacob, explain more. Don't leave me so soon. Farewell, Scrooge. The ghost of Jacob Marley, now gone, Scrooge calmed himself. So tired from the events of the day and the visit of a man he hadn't seen in seven years, Scrooge went straight to bed without undressing and fell asleep on the instant. Humbug. Are you the spirit whose coming was foretold to me? I am. Who and what are you? I am the ghost of <coughs> Christmas past. May I sleep, please, spirit? You must see what I have to show you, Scrooge. Rise and walk with me. Scrooge recognized this place. He was a boy at this boarding school. Sent in a young lad, sent out a businessman. Memories rushed back to him as he stood in the yard on a Christmas Eve many moons ago. I know this place well, Spirit. I was a boy here. Do you know these boys, Scrooge? Oh yes, look! It's Charlie! Hello, Charlie, it's me! These are but shadows of things that have been, Scrooge. They have no consciousness of us. Come, Scrooge, inside. You recognize this boy, Scrooge? Why, it's little old me. He seems lonely, sitting inside as all the other rush home to their families for Christmas. Oh, I never went home for Christmas. I never went home at all. What's the matter? Oh, nothing. I just... There was a boy singing a Christmas carol at my door last night. I should like to have given him something, that's all. Come, Scrooge. There is much to see. Do you know this place, Scrooge? No, it. I was apprenticed here. Why? It's old Fezziwig! Bless his heart! It's Fezziwig! He's alive again! The Fezziwig Christmas party took place every Christmas Eve and was without a doubt a highlight of many of his employees' years. There would be dancing, good food, good drink, and good music. And of course, there would be joy. Could I have some quiet, please? It is an old tradition for me to make a speech at these old Christmas parties. And this year, that tradition must live on, I'm afraid. But oh, I'll make it quick, eh? Christmas is a time of merry, a time to treat each other with naught but kindness, exchange gifts, enjoy food, maybe kiss under the mistletoe. Christmas is a time for people, and I say God bless it. Oh, what a delight this party was! I remember! Why, I remember! Oh, look! There's me now! Fezziwig, sir. 
Do you realize how much the silly mask is costing you? Oh, don't you worry of that Master Scrooge. Go talk to people, drink something. Why don't you? That's more useful things I can do than drink right now, sir. I could swear I enjoyed that party. Why? I must have. I. Something bothers you, Scrooge. I can sense it. Oh, it's nothing in particular, Spirit. Well, I should like to be able to say a word or two to my clerk just now. That's all. Well, Scrooge, we must see more. My time grows short. I know the Hydro has displaced me, and if it can cheer and comfort you in time to come, as I would have tried to do, I have no just cause to grieve. What idol has displaced you? A golden one. This god controls the world, my dear. There is nothing so hard as poverty, and there is nothing it professes to condemn with such severity as the pursuit of wealth. You fear the world too much, and you use far too many complicated words. Our contract is an old one. It was made when we were both poor and content to be so. You are changed. When it was made, you were another man. I was a boy. I release you, Ebenezer, with the full heart of love for the man you once were. May you be happy in the life you have chosen. Spirit, show me no more. Why do you delight to torture me? These are the shadows of what have been Scrooge. You did this. Do not blame me. Leave me! Take me back! Call me no longer! Well, shit. Another bloomin' ghost already? Another bloomin' ghost already? Oh, this is just ridiculous. Oh, Ebenezer! Come in and know me better, man. For well, I am the ghost of Christmas presents. You're a... you're a rather jolly fellow. What a reason could I possibly have to not be jolly, Scrooge? It's Christmas time after all. Spirit, conduct me where you will. I went forth before on compulsion, and I have learned a lesson which is working now. Tonight, if you have aught to teach me, let my profit be... Eat this chicken, Scrooge. But I... I don't like chicken. EAT THIS CHICKEN, SCROOGE! It was Christmas Day and everyone in every house was celebrating the special day with their family and friends. The streets bustled as bustling streets should, and as Scrooge walked with the spirit, he couldn't help but crack just a little smile. Are you familiar with this home in particular, Scrooge? Why, it's Bob Cratchit's house! And look, here they come! Bob and his youngest, Tiny Tim! We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Here we are, son. Do you think the goose is ready yet? Oh boy, I hope so. Merry Christmas, everyone! Oh, welcome home, Bob. Hiya, Dad! How was Tim at church, Bob? Oh, it's good as gold, and better. He told me, coming home, that he hoped the people saw him in the church. Because it might be pleasant to them to remember upon Christmas Day who made lame beggars walk and blind men see. The amount of good in that boy's heart. Still you pay Bob so little. Ugh. Wait, Scrooge! Now let us raise a glass to the founder of the feast, Mr. Scrooge! How was the founder of the feast indeed? I wish I had him here. I'd give him a piece of my mind to feast upon, and I'd hope he'd have a good appetite for it. My dear, the children, it's Christmas! Oh, Bob, I just wish that old wrinkly bit- To the founder of the feast, Mr. Scrooge! A Merry Christmas to us all, my dears. God bless us. And Tiny Tim followed. God bless us, everyone. Spirit, tell me if Tiny Tim will live. Oh, well, I cannot see much of the future myself. I am here for the present, after all, but I see a vacant seat, the poor chimney corner, and a crutch without an owner. Carefully preserved, if these shadows remain unaltered by the future, the child will die. 
Oh no, no, Spirit, say you will be spared. Surely he'd better just hurry up and do it, and decrease the surplus population. Come, Scrooge, follow me outside. Scrooge and the Spirit walked up the street and through the snow, before they arrived at another jolly house, hosting another jolly Christmas. You recognize this house, Scrooge? Is it not Fred's? Why, it is my nephew Fred! I think it's about time for a game. What do we say? Oh yes, Fred. How about a guessing game? You always think of good ones, Fred. I've got one up my sleeve. Guess away! Is it a vegetable? Nope. A mineral? Nope. So it ought to be an animal. Is it alive now? Well, technically, yes. Is this animal a nice one? Oh no, I'd say disagreeable. Is it found in a country or the city? The city! This very one, in fact. Is it human? Barely. Oh, I got it! Discreetable creature. Living in London, barely human. Well, it ought to be your Uncle Fred. Amnesia Scrooge! You've got it! Oh, bravo! Barely human? Is that really what they think of me? My time is drawing to a close, Scrooge. Uh, hello? Are you the spirit that the ghost of Christmas yet to come? Are you about to show me shadows of the things that have not yet happened but will happen in the time before us? Oh, Ghost of Future! I fear you more than any spectre I've seen, but as I know your purpose is to do me good, I'm prepared to bear your company and do it with a thankful heart. Will you not speak to me? Well, um, lead on, spirit. I don't know much about it either way. I only know he's dead. When did he die? Last night, I believe. I thought he'd never die. What has he done with his money? I haven't heard. Left it to his company, perhaps. He hasn't left it to me, that's all I know. Well, it's likely to be a very cheap funeral. For upon my life, I don't know of anybody to go to it. Suppose we make up a party and volunteer? I don't mind going if a lunch is provided. Spirit, who is this deceased they speak of? Oh, I do wish you'd speak to me, Spirit. Oh, Spirit, Bob Cratchit's house. Might I see some joy here? It is eerily quiet, Spirit. When will Dad be home? Soon, I think. He seems to have walked a bit slower these past few evenings. Hello, my dears. Children, please go set the table for dinner. So, how was the place? Real nice. It would have done you good to see how green a place it is. I found a nice spot, looking over the ducks in the pond. I promised I would walk there on a Sunday. Spirit, I can't. This is. Is there much left to see? Must we come to this this dreary place? Answer me this, spirit. The death of what horrid thing brought those men such laughter? Spirit, 
Are these the shadows of the things that will be? Or are they the shadows of things that only may be? These events ought to be changeable. No, spirit! Oh no, no! Hear me! I am not the man I was! Why show me this if I am past all hope? I will honor Christmas in my heart and try to keep it all the year. I would live in the past, the present and the future. The spirits of all three shall strive within me. I will not shut out the lessons that they teach. Oh, tell me I may sponge away the writing on this stone. Please, spirit, speak to me! Well, I... Well, I, I certainly know this place. Scrooge was home, yes, and the bedpost was his own, the bed was his own, the room was his own. Best and happiest of all, the time before him was his own. Free to be changed. I will live in the past, the present, and the future. The spirits of all three shall strive within me. Oh, Jacob Marley, heaven and the Christmas time will be praised for this. I don't know what to do. I'm as light as a feather. I'm as happy as an angel. I'm as merry as a schoolboy. I'm as giddy as a choking man. A merry Christmas to everyone. A happy new year to all the world. Hello, you boy. Yes? What's, what's today? Sorry? What's today, my fine fellow? Today? Why, it's Christmas Day! It's Christmas Day! I haven't missed it! The spirits have done it all in one night! Oh, they can do anything they like! Of course they can, of course they can! Yes, of course they can! Do you know the poultry shop in the next street? I do indeed! An intelligent boy, a remarkable boy! Do you know whether they've sold their prize turkey? The one as big as me? No, it still sits there now! Go and buy it! What? Go and buy it and bring it back to me. Here, take a shilling. No, take five shillings. Oh, gee whiz. I shall take it to Bob Cratchit's house. Oh, what a fine feast it will be. Dressed now in his finest, Scrooge burst out his home onto the street to wish a Merry Christmas to all. A Merry Christmas to you. Oh, and a Merry Christmas to you. Merry Christmas to you and you. With the streets this busy, it wasn't long before Scrooge bumped into two familiar faces. Mr. Scrooge? Oh, Merry Christmas! I'm sorry about yesterday, I do hope you succeeded. If you would pardon me, but about the donation yesterday, could you- could you possibly put me down for- Mr. Scrooge, are, are you serious? Absolutely, and not a penny less! Oh, I thank you, Mr. Scrooge. And a Merry Christmas to the both of you! Fred, my nephew! A Merry Christmas to you! Why, bless my soul! Who is this? It is I, your Uncle Scrooge! I've come to dinner as you wished! Will you let me in, Fred? Oh, absolutely lootly! And have dinner, Scrooge did. You'd never seen a jollier man eating a turkey in your life. Wonderful party, wonderful games, wonderful happiness. He was early at the office the next morning. Oh, he was early there. If he could only be there first and catch Bob Cratchit coming late, that was the thing he had set his heart upon. A full 18 minutes late! What do you mean by coming here at this time? I am very sorry, sir. I'm a bit behind on my time. Indeed you are. Step this way. It's only once a year, sir. It shall not be repeated. I was making rather merry yesterday, sir. Now, I'll tell you what, my friend. I'm not going to stand for this any longer. And therefore, therefore, I'm about to raise your salary. Wait, what? Pod champ. A merry Christmas, Bob, my good fellow, that I've given you for many a year. I'll raise your salary and endeavor to assist your struggling family, and we will discuss your affairs this very afternoon over a Christmas feast, Bob. Make up the fires and buy some more coal before you dot another eye, Bob Cratchit. 
And Scrooge was better than his word. He did it all and infinitely more. And to Tiny Tim, who got far better and suffered no more, he was a second father. He became as good as a friend, as good as a master, and as good a man as the good old city knew. Or any other good old city, town, or borough in the good old world. And so, as Tiny Tim observed, God bless us, everyone. <laughs>